All new at 9, the St. Louis Metrolink Green Line project kicked off its inaugural stages tonight. And Fox 2's Taylor Harris is live at the Cherokee Recreation Center in South St. Louis, where tonight Metro showed off its plan to the community. Taylor. Tonight, by a state development and Metro Transit hosting an open house for the St. Louis Metrolink um, Green Line project, focusing on environmental considerations and design blueprints for the $1 billion initiative. We have completed 15% design uh, for engineering, and we are happy to be moving on to the next phase where we will continue further refining our engineering and, importantly, meeting a lot of federal um, requirements to make sure we are talking to the community and that we are making sure we're evaluating all potential environmental impacts. The East-West Gateway Council authorized the revised North-South Metrolink proposal, a 5.6-mile route from Grand and Natural Bridge to Jefferson Avenue in Chippewa with 10 stations reducing the original proposal's count by three. Citizens are looking forward to the new line. This is absolutely what St. Louis needs. Like, we need more rail transit. Um, like, car cities that are built around car transit are just not the future. Six presentation stations reflected the project overview, project alternatives, environmental review, transit-oriented development and zoning codes updates, and ways for the public to get involved. There's so much housing stock, our concern is our property value, number one. If they're going to run this line, they need to really listen to the residents. They need to go underground, just like they did up Forest Park for those residents who live on Lindell. The Green Line's community impact is significant. 25% of nearby households lack vehicle ownership, while 10% of local workers depend on public transit. And 17% of the city's current affordable housing units are within walking distance of the new stations. Engineering and construction are set to finish by 2027 with revenue service projected around 2030. If you miss the presentation, you can catch the virtual session on Tuesday, April 30th. You can register for the session on fox2now.com. Reporting in Benton Park, Taylor Harris, Fox 2 News.